The advancement of technology has created many unprecedented areas in law. From the advice of my parents, I was encouraged to apply for computing and law to set myself apart from my peers to prepare myself for today's rapidly advancing society. Being the first of its kind, the course piqued my interest to research further upon it and attend introductory talks. The multidisciplinary curriculum seemed interesting and highly relevant, and I particularly liked the diversity of modules that we would take. Legal tech is an emerging field, which the Computing and Law program is geared towards. I chose this program because I felt like it would provide a unique opportunity to learn about two very distinct fields that I always had an interest in, but never thought I would get an opportunity to study, especially not at the same time. In an ever-evolving world, a multidisciplinary degree gives me a competitive advantage, especially in career streams such as that of a legal technologist or a technology lawyer with focus on intellectual property law, data protection and cybersecurity. So I think that computing has really become a popular course and universities in Singapore are also increasing the intake of tech-related degrees with each year. So I took the course as I wanted to set myself apart from the majority and given the need for data protection with more technological advancements, I felt that this course would be more appropriate in learning about how to deal with data as well as to learn about legal and technical ways to protect it. The most valuable part has been my experiences in both the computing sector and the law sector respectively. Being two very different disciplines, this has allowed me to network with many different people and gain a deeper understanding of the two fields to gain greater insight on where I see myself in the future. So during the winter break in year two, I had the opportunity to work under Prof Lim at the Centre of Computational Law as a research assistant. This role truly showed me how law and tech intersected and I was exposed to the issues with which technology can help improve legal processes. The most valuable part of my experience in computing and law so far is the people. Being a small cohort, all of us are familiar with one another, and seeing the familiar faces is very comforting. I like how we can strike a conversation with one another about anything while waiting for our classes to start or during our breaks. My favourite module thus far has been Intellectual Property Law since it provides the perfect avenue to put into practice both law and technology knowledge and skills that we have picked up over the course of our modules at SMU. Introduction to Programming has been my favourite module so far. It might sound a bit sadistic, but I kind of enjoy cracking my head for three hours trying to solve the three-star coding questions. It is all worth it for the feeling of complete satisfaction when I run my code and it passes all the test cases. I also enjoyed the Access to Justice module, which was the SMUX module, where students are given the opportunity to work with external companies to do a project. We were focused on creating a document automation system to fill out a letter of administration. A letter of administration is a document required by families whose family members have passed on without a will in order to obtain their assets. The current process of filling out the LOA is extremely lengthy and hard to understand. Hence, our main objective was to make the process easy and efficient. And through the project, I was also able to learn about different technologies as well as how to manage the features of our end product. My favourite modules have been Law of Thoughts and Introduction to Programming. Thought Law has allowed me to understand how to better protect myself and those around me by being able to identify harm that I might have suffered or where there has been a lack of standard of care in my day-to-day -day life. On the other hand, Introduction to Programming has trained me to think logically and creatively like a coder. Nothing beats the feeling of successfully running your code. I've done a cybersecurity internship with the Centre for Strategic Infocom Technologies, where I did research on process injection techniques and how to detect and prevent them. I also have friends that have done and are currently doing part-time internships at law firms as legal tech interns, where they work on digitalizing some of the work processes in a relatively archaic industry. I think my internship under Deloitte's Forensic Discovery team definitely stood out as a unique experience as I learned how technology was being used for retrieving forensic evidence from devices to be used during legal proceedings. I was very surprised about the multitude of data that can be collected from a wide variety of devices and platforms. Currently, I'm also a data analyst intern at Shopee and I'm under the listings team. So my sub-team in particular is focused on quality governance. One interesting project that I've taken up is using data to identify key insights to reduce the number of scams by sellers. My internship with Raja and Tan Technologies took me to the heart of legal tech in Singapore. My work primarily concerned data science and robotic process automation, 
and allowed me to work under some of the brightest minds in the Singapore legal tech space. The methodologies required for mastering both subjects are different. Computing requires drill and practice, while legal knowledge is acquired mostly from reading and understanding. So the rigour of having to read critically for the law modules was personally a new experience for me. Nevertheless, being able to compartmentalise well and adapt to the different challenges will go a long way. And of course, having an interest in both fields wouldn't hurt too. If you are looking to be different from the rest and believe a multidisciplinary degree is the right choice, computing and law at SMU is the perfect choice for you. Be ready to work hard and play hard. Studying both law and computing modules can be quite a challenge, but will be extremely rewarding in the long run. Computing and law offers a unique experience to gain specialized skills in both disciplines, both of which are highly in demand now, so why not?